Alright, warning, do not try this at home. Earlier, we have already tested the most durable and hard metals such as chrome, tungsten, titanium with the hydraulic press. Today, we will test the hardest steel with the 100 ton hydraulic press. We will have three grades of steel on the test. This is the Soviet R6 M5. The American M35. As well as a sample of Chinese high-speed steel without a brand. These cubes have a hardness of more than 65 units. And the American M35 claims a hardness of 69 units. And this is the limit of hardness for steels. There are no steels of greater hardness. All these cubes are from blanks for lath cutters. Each of these samples has a hardness greater than that of a hardest pure metal, tungsten. If you do a scratch test, then tungsten does not leave scratches on any of these cubes. What cannot be said about the opposite? Which sample will resist the hydraulic press more? China, the USSR, or the USA? The first in line will be a sample of Soviet high-speed steel, R6M5. It is this cube that is cut out of a lath cutter. Under the pressure of a 100 ton load, this sample received only minor damage. Before the test, it was a perfect cube with faces of 10 millimeters. That's more clearly in comparison. You can see how much its size has changed. Now, we will crush Chinese steel with the press, then American steel. And for clarity, we'll put all these cubes together. And so, the Chinese Quick Cutter. It's good that the upper and lower parts of the press are also made of very good steel, hardened in 10. And if it had been another steel, they would have been sold. American M35. In comparison, it can be seen that the Chinese steel has received the most deformation. The American and the Soviet warp the same way. It's hard to believe that such cubes with one centimeter edge could withstand a huge 100 ton load. This is how, for example, Tungsten's cube looks like after exposure of 110 load.
So, from titanium, and so on, from ordinary low-grade steel of the three brands. These are the dents left on the hardened steel surface. These cubes withstood this load due to the fact that it was evenly distributed over their plane. And now, we will break this even distribution. Put a mega hard ceramic ball on top. It is several times harder than a sample of this very hard steel. As expected, with a load of about 15 tons, this mega solid steel cube was torn to pieces. The Chinese cube withstood an even smaller load, 10 tons. As it has already been proven, the more harness the steel has, the greater its fragility. Therefore, in the manufacture of various steel products, it is necessary to find the optimal compromise between hardness and brittleness. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and give a like.